This is a paper crane. And it took me 10 fucking minutes to make. Fuck. Oh, easy. Wait, what? Okay, slow down. What the fuck? My plan is to make a thousand of them in the copiously lengthy time frame of three days. Boom. I say copiously lengthy because it's not. That was sarcasm. Now you might be asking, Hey Ko, why, why are you so obsessed with this completely useless and seemingly arbitrary goal? And I think personally that the answer should be pretty obvious. Pettiness. It Pettiness. A little backstory here, just recently my good friend Richie, or so I thought, said to me that I have issues with my attention span, which is completely fucking untrue and I want to watch a uh, Mario Kart speedrun. I'm not even reading the text right now, this is literally a picture of Guy Fieri. So long story short, I have the attention span of a sleep deprived goldfish, but that does not mean that I don't have feelings, Richie. And what I decided to do about this was simple. I would go to the store, buy a thousand sheets of paper, fold them into cranes within three days, and then call Richie to rub it in his face and teach him to never insult me again. So... So that's what I did. While I was browsing for paper, I hit a couple of roadblocks. One, you need a square sheet of paper to fold cranes, and the cheaper printer paper is all in the form of a rectangle. So to relieve that issue, and to add a nice colorful tinge, I did the most reasonable thing I could think of. Sticky notes. I got three stacks of them. The second roadblock was that this was a shitty idea because sticky notes are, spoiler alert, fucking sticky. So as I was folding these cranes, I would get shitty stick gunk all over my hands and they would be there for the whole day. I'm recording this like four days after and I think that the adhesive gunk is still on my fingers. And number three, I realized that this would be a lot more difficult than I initially anticipated. This is a lot of paper. This is your fucking idea. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, and number four, I, I have barely done like any origami in my lifetime. But enough with the complaining, because I have a point to prove. Boom, that's that's one of the sides. Fuck. Shit, fuck. Why is it so fucking sticky? Alright, there's one. You know what? It's it's the first one, so I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna name it after one of my subscribers. Okay, your name is officially Virus Axe. I'm, I'm getting sidetracked again. Okay, so here's two, three, five, eight, ten. Is it a bad thing that my hands already hurt? Hey Ko! Future Co here. Tell me, why do you have to prove your point with paper cranes? Why don't you watch paint dry or sit in silence for a couple hours or watch the first 15 minutes of Fifty Shades of Grey? Simple. The tradition of folding a thousand paper cranes, known as Senbazuru in Japanese, is deeply rooted in themes of meditation, patience, longevity, and good luck. Another idea tied with it is that if a person folds a thousand paper cranes, it will grant them one wish. See, that wish could be solving world hunger or ending climate change, but I have bigger priorities than that. I am going to wish for a better attention span so that Richie can't make fun of me anymore. So really, I'm killing two birds with one stone here, except instead of killing two birds, I'm making a thousand of them because I am fucking stupid. Okay, I folded 50 and I want to fucking die. That took me like two and a half hours. With a highly complicated algorithm that I programmed, I did the math and concluded that at this rate, it would be taking 50 hours to fold all these cranes, leaving a total of seven hours and 20 minutes every day to sleep, eat, and do literally anything else with my time. So I had to do this a lot faster. Otherwise, I could kiss my future of not being mocked goodbye. Okay, so it is day one, 1 a.m. I have gone through two stacks of paper. Each stack is 70, and so this is like 200-ish. But I am so tired, so I'm gonna go to sleep for like six hours, and then I'm gonna wake up and do this all over again. And just so you guys know, I am folding off camera a little bit because sitting here hurts after a while. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this and go. Day two of three. I woke up and nothing could have prepared me for this day. So I woke up and my hands feel like a fucking hangover. Like depending on the finger, they either feel like stiff as a brick or tender as jello. I genuinely feel like crying, dude. Is what I would say if I was a little whiny baby bitch. Baby got a little stink in his diapy wipey. Baby need a little cry, wah, wah. <laughs> Too fucking bad. Keep folding. And so I did. All day. I woke up at 7 a.m. and started folding my ass off. No distractions, because distractions would slow me down. Which, by the way, apparently the world record for this is like 9 hours and 30 minutes. 
which is just fucking embarrassing for me. I am on crane number 350 something and I have a horrible headache. Uh, my vision is getting blurry. I like, I, it got to the point where I started folding some cranes wrong. And look, they're fucking, they're, they're chunky. They're chunky. They're not supposed to look like that. So I had to go back and fix every single one and I'm starting to feel like I've lost a little bit. At this rate, there is no way I am finishing this in three days because like I can't, I, I can't do the math right now, but just like this amount in one and a half days and then double it. This is not 500, so it would not be a thousand, but I, I, I finished another one, so. The good news was I was getting a little bit faster at folding than I was yesterday, but still not at a rate that I could finish this challenge realistically. Also, I forgot to mention that I named some of the other cranes as well, but only the ugliest ones. This one here I named Yeet Forever. Yeet has three E's for some reason. And this one is named the Bleach Bottle, no spaces, all lowercase. By the end of day two, after my headache throbbing out of my head and my hands feeling like TV static and 10 more fucking hours of folding that I did off camera because sitting in the same spot doing this was killing me and also my camera battery only had so much juice in it. I had a grand total of 625 cranes, which was not bad, but I had to go to sleep. And if I wanted to catch Richie at a time where he'd be awake, then for day three, I would have to fold 375 cranes before dusk. At this rate though, it seemed pretty possible. So I, I went to bed and got a good night's rest for day three. This is when shit went down. I turned the camera on right now for a very mournful moment. Essentially, th thank God I put all the completed ones over here. But I, I was sipping my, my caffeine. I spilled that shit. So I had to go to the store and get more notes because I didn't have enough paper and then I got home feeling really doubtful of myself. I mean, like, what's the difference between three and four days? The harm was that it was less fucking impressive. And I'm not a bitch. And also, I found a new strategy for this because my brain is fucking huge. I found out that I can stack five sticky notes together and then fold a crane to this step. And then I could just peel them all apart and then I'd have five of the same thing while only using the effort of one thing. So I did that for the rest of the challenge and my time improved by a lot. Sure, they weren't as pretty as the other ones, but that just gave me an excuse to name more of my creations after you guys. For some reason, one of my subscribers is named Nono. This one is named the Mythic Asian, which is just weird. I am 10 cranes away from finishing this godforsaken challenge. Wait, what? So let's, let's, uh, let's do this. 991, 992, 993, 994, 995. And then I'm gonna do the five stack for these last five because I, I can't, I don't have the patience for this. 996, 997, 998, 999. Here is the final fold. One thousand. Now all that was left was for me to set up and call Richie. Okay, let's hope he picks up. Hey, what's, what's going on, man? Richard Sabiaga. You have- you've laughed your last laugh. Did I? Um... I'm not laughing. What's going on? You're supposed you're supposed to be scared, but whatever. Um, so I can't hear you without my headphones off. Oh, what the fuck is that? Um, I don't know what you said, what Richard Sabiaga. Do you know what this is about? This no. behind what? me what? is a thousand paper cranes. Okay, but why? Okay. Do, you, you really don't know what this is about? No. Just what, three you... days ago, you sent me a message saying that I need to work on my attention span. And so... I said that? Yes, yes you said that. This, this is a thousand paper cranes that I folded, um, uh, to... I was, I, I, what you said upset me. Uh-huh. So you spent three days folding a thousand paper cranes. Precisely. You had that much time to take three days to do nothing but fold paper cranes. Yeah. Damn, you're a loser. Bro, oh, <laughs> this is not how this is supposed to work. This is a, this is like this is like the revenge plot. This is the big. Oh yeah, you you got your revenge. Yeah, yeah. 
I don't have a short attention span, at okay. least. I, I I did this all in three days. Could you do that shit in three days? You're gonna say probably, okay. Yeah. Yeah, uh, as, as long as you're proud of yourself. I'm done with you. So you know what? It didn't really go according to plan, but all this folding has got me thinking, why do I even care? Like, do I judge my own worth based on how other people perceive me? I don't need the approval of other people. <laughs> what? I'm gonna eat the mic pack now. <laughs> So my wish didn't come true. I still ended up getting made fun of by Richie. But honestly, I think it's still good to have this under my belt because it proves that I have grit and patience. And who knows, maybe these cranes will give me some good fortune in the future. They better because they also gave me an inconsiderable amount of brain damage. I'm not gonna make this outro too long because I can still feel the bags under my eyes and I need to sleep for a million years. So get home safe and stay kind. Everyone, that was, uh, that was the perfect time for you to do that.